Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to talk to you guys about this real disturbing case and once again it's coming from pitiful ass Pennsylvania. So what's going on is that we have two young girls. One is 18 year old Kayla Van Ver and another one is 16 year old Kathleen Boyer. And so what's going on is that once again, Facebook drama, like I said in my earlier video, you have guys out here dying behind nothing more than ego and bravado. And you have females out here going to prison, going to go do time behind Facebook, Instagram, and social media. And here we have another case, okay? So what's going down is that these two young girls, they were best friends at some point in time, the 16 and the 18 year old. So the 18 year old, she's a mother. Her baby's father is 19 year old Jorge de Jesus, okay? So their baby's a year old and her and her baby's father recently broke up. And her so-called best friend, the 16 year old Kathleen, starts messing with her baby's father. Earlier that day, the baby's father had put his hands on her. And then basically, um, you know, they were going back and forth on Facebook. Um, the new girlfriend, the 16 year old, who is her ex best friend, decides to jump in. And so they decide to meet up to fight each other, okay? So instead of them going to go meet up and throw hands, the 16 year old decides to bring a knife and then she gets to stab in the other girl. And now the 18 year old girl who is a single mother is now dead and her child has no mother. You know, this whole situation is just really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I'm Sarah Banowski in for Marisa and Scott. Police and prosecutors say an online fight ended with two teenage girls deciding to meet in an alley in Scranton. The fight ended with one dead and one in jail. Newswatch 16's Dave Bowman is live on McKenna Court in Scranton with more on what is now a homicide investigation. Dave? That's right, Sarah. It was uh, this afternoon that the Lackawanna County Coroner's Office ruled the death of 18-year-old Kayla Van Wert a homicide. It took place in this alleyway. And this alleyway is also the halfway between the homes of Van Wert and the 16-year-old girl accused of stabbing her. It is also near the homes of two families from India who moved to Scranton seven years ago and who until last night thought this neighborhood was safe. I'm really scared for that. Janik Patel called police after hearing the commotion from a fight near her home on East Gibson Street in Scranton. And nothing happened, this kind of thing uh, earlier. So this is like first time we saw it face to face. What happened appears to stem from a heated online argument between an 18-year-old girl now dead and a 16-year-old girl now in jail. Police say that after the fight broke out, the 18-year-old Kayla Van Wert was stabbed in the neck and chest. At some point during the fight, this iron railing fell from its concrete stairs. That prompted the family living here to call police. And uh, we thought it, they might be overdrunk or maybe uh, some a little bit drug use. You didn't think it was as bad as it turned out to be at first, did you? Before we don't know about that, like how's bad over there, but the police comes over there and they found their blood and everything. Just minutes later, Kayla Van Wert died at a nearby hospital. Police say the other girl in the online feud, 16-year-old Kathleen Boyer, fled the alley, but on Facebook posted, quote, I'm wrong, I'll admit it. Got to face the consequences. No remorse. Uh, just last week I spoke to a group of students about th the dangers of cyberbullying and, and the things you, sh you do share online and, and where it can lead. Kathleen Boyer is now jailed on charges of aggravated assault and tampering with evidence. Lackawanna County District Attorney Shane Scanlon says he'll likely add more serious charges now that the coroner ruled Kayla Van Wert's death a homicide. I, I anticipate a, a general count of criminal homicide being filed in the very near future. And sources say those criminal homicide charges against 16-year-old Kathleen Boyer could be filed sometime this week, possibly as soon as tomorrow. In the meantime, stabbing victim Kayla Van Wert was a single mother of a 16-month-old boy. We're told that the boy is now staying with the child's grandmother. Dave Bowman, Newswatch 16, reporting live. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. You know, once again, we just live in a really, really sick world. Did you guys check out what that young 16 year old girl wrote on her Facebook page after she killed the other girl? She came on and basically said that, you know, I did what I did. You know, I'm just going to have to face the consequences. I have no remorse. You know, how evil can you be that somebody can be your best friend for years? You start sleeping with her baby's father. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, she's going to get mad. She's going to feel some type of way. And instead of you taking personal responsibility for being a shitty-ass friend, you go over there and stab her, then take back the Facebook to kind of brag about it and say that you have no remorse. 
It's like people have lost their humanity chip. The fact that these young girls are committing crimes, stabbing people, the same thing happened in the Amy Jerner case where those girls took the Instagram to state their side of the story. What fucking side? Go sit your ass down somewhere and plug from the matrix. Get your ass off of social media sometime and come back to the real world. You know, this young girl's gonna get a rude awakening. You know, her saying that she has no remorse and everything else. She will learn what remorse is when she gets handed down that sentence, okay? When she gets sentenced between 10 to 20 years, she'll realize how stupid that decision was to go over there and go kill her own ex-best friend. I mean, this whole situation to me is just disgusting. It's really sad that we have so many young girls out here and so many young people in general who do not understand conflict resolution. People allow things to go down on social media. They allow things to pop off on social media, get into it on social media, and then they allow that to literally destroy their lives in the real world. They'll take a social media beef, bring it into the real world, and then end up doing some stupid shit and going to prison for the rest of their damn life. I mean, this whole situation to me is just really damn ridiculous. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire pitiful ass situation. Once again, coming from pitiful ass Pennsylvania. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.